Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Oh, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Oh, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Hello and welcome from St. Andrew Lutheran Church, a member congregation of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. I'm Chris, and I'm so happy you could join us for Faith and Storytime this week. We're going to continue our journey through the Hebrew Scriptures, the Old Testament of our Christian Bible. We have a guest, Miss Joy, this week, who's going to tell us the story of Daniel and the lion's den. And then we have a wonderful song from Miss Amy. All right, well, let's get started. May you know the love and grace of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hi everyone, I'm Joy. I'm excited to share today's Bible story with you. It's the story of Daniel and the lions. And if you have a Spark Story Bible, the story starts on page 184. Back in the days of the Bible, Daniel was a man who was very faithful to God. He prayed, he trusted in God to keep him safe and to always be with him. And Daniel was also best friends with the king at the time, King Darius. He liked Daniel so well that he gave him a lot of responsibilities in their kingdom. He gave him important jobs. And there were other men in the kingdom who were jealous of Daniel. They didn't think it was fair that he got to do such great things with his friend the king. And so these jealous men came up with a plan to get rid of Daniel. They went to the king and they tricked him into making a new law. They tricked King Darius into writing a law that said that all the people had to pray to him, not to God. And if anybody was caught praying to God instead of to King Darius, they would be thrown into a den full of lions. <sighs> That's a scary law. And Daniel was scared of lions. I am too. But Daniel knew that the law was wrong. He knew that praying to his God was right and that he shouldn't go back on his faith just because of an unfair law. So Daniel kept praying to God and he was caught. The jealous men were spying on Daniel. They caught him praying and they took him to King Darius and said, Daniel's broken the law. He was praying to God, not you. Now you have to throw him in the den of lions. And this made King Darius very sad because Daniel was his good, good friend. But he had made the law, and he decided he had to keep it. So that night, they threw Daniel into a den full of hungry lions and shut the door. Well, all that night, King Darius couldn't sleep. He felt awful about what he had done. In the morning, he went to the lion's den, opened the door, and looked in. And what do you think he saw? He saw Daniel. <laughs> Daniel was okay. And King Darius was shocked and he said, you're still here, you're alive. How are you still alive? And Daniel said, God sent an angel to close the lion's mouths so none of them could hurt me. Daniel prayed in the lion's den and he trusted God and God protected him. God knew that Daniel was faithful and God was faithful too. Well, King Darius was so happy that his friend Daniel was okay, and he realized that his law was wrong. So he changed the law, and he punished the guys who made the unfair law in the first place. Daniel showed the king and everyone that standing up for what you believe is the right thing, and that God will stand with you too. 
Today we learned about Daniel and the lion's den. Daniel, just like his friends Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, would not bow down to the king. He knew the only one we should worship is our God. He said no. He wasn't afraid because he trusted his God. All right, so today we're going to sing, My God is so big. Put your hands up in the air. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. And that's the only part of the song we're going to sing today. So let's try it. Ready? My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Again. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. All right, today we have another instrument. We're going to use a drum today. Now, what can you use as a drum? You can use a pot. You can use, like me, a Tupperware container or a plastic container. You can use a garbage can as long as there's no garbage in it because you have to turn it upside down. So if you need to stop the video, go find what you need and come back. You're back. You could also use a box, like a shoe box. I have one of those too. And I don't think we need anything to beat on them. Let's just use our hands today, okay? Here's what we're going to do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Can you do that with me? Ready? My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Great. Let's sing really quietly this time. Ready? It means we got to play the drum really quietly. Ready? My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Guess what? We got to sing it loudly. Don't yell. Sing loudly. Ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Thanks for joining me today. I'm playing the drums with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Wow, that was a great song. Did you sing along with her? Because I did. But let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, everybody. Have a great week. I will see you on Sunday at worship. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles.